Hello, Paul here, and I want to show you how you can make some fun, electric, uh, surreal text in Photoshop. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here's my text. Nothing crazy about it just yet. In fact, all we're going to do is we're going to double click right here to make a layer style. And we're going to keep this simple. We're going to throw a gradient overlay over the top. This is just white to black, nothing that fancy. Okay, we'll click OK. This is where the fun comes in, is what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to add a gradient map. A gradient map is going to allow us to remap all of those colors or grays to a new gradient that we have selected. And a lot of times this is used for photos, for retinting them to a sepia tone or whatever. But we're going to have fun with this because we're going to pick a fun, crazy color. And you can already see how all of this is changing. Um, so I'm just going to pick uh, something maybe with a lot of colors like uh, this one here. I'm into this one, right? Remaps everything. So we toggle that on and off. We can see what it does. Okay, remapping all the whites to green, if you will, right? As we can see right here, whites are green. Uh, the blacks are going to be that blue. But now we can have fun with our layer style. So let's go back into our layer styles just by double clicking right there. And we'll throw a bevel and emboss on it, right? So we get this very clean look. I'm, I'm into what's happening here, but we really want to crank this up and have some fun. So we can increase the size. And what gets to be really fun is changing the gloss contour, right? Let's make it super wavy, right? And this gives us that electric look that looks so interesting. And again, you can play with the angle, all that stuff. And we're only part of the way there. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. You want to amp it up some more? Hey, throw some satin in there. Satin's going to smooth it out a little bit more, but still you have this contour and you can change that contour to just get even more variations in grays technically, but it's being remapped to that rainbow color. And just so you get an idea, this is what it looks like before and this is what it's like after. We could change this all we want. We want to reverse it. Hey, we get an entirely different look. Uh, we even want to maybe even add a layer and paint with black we could see how it's going to change that background. And all we're doing is we're painting with black. But let's make this even more surreal. So I'm going to take this to the next level because I'm thinking I'm going to convert this to a smart object. That's going to allow me to give me more control. So I'll go into filter. Let's uh, distort this. Let's do a pinch. Why not? So what we're doing here is we're pinching this text so it's more stretched out on the beginnings and end, right? So I just like that look, making it look surreal, right? We'll take this to the next level again as well. We'll go in and we'll just do a blur. We'll do an iris blur. So it's blurry on the outside, right? And then sharp on the inside. And watch what happens when I crank this up. See how it kind of melts away? I have full control and I just get these cool colors just using a blur, as you can see, pinching it and using all of those gradients, as you can see here. Hey, it's surreal. Let's throw some fish in there. And that's how you can make Make a fun electric scene, electric type, and a whole composition in Photoshop using a gradient map. Thanks so much for watching.